Well, hello, friends. Um, today, let's fix another bug. So, I got this one here from uh, from Dan, uh, our most frequent bug reporter. So, thank you, Dan, for yet another high quality bug report. Let's uh, take a look at this. So, this here doesn't look very good, right? Like we have a long file name in the file manager, and it's just bleeding all the way into the size column. Um, so I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make ourselves a little test case. So we'll add a very long and obnoxious file name.txt. And um, just so that we can test. Um. Okay, come here, file manager. Whoop. And we can indeed see that it's going way too far over here. Um, really, we should be cutting it off here and probably like alighting the text so that it, we end it with a dot, dot, dot. Um, so let's see how this is implemented. So this would be in G table view. Uh, paint event. And uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so let's see how this works again. Um, like going through all the rows and um, for each row, we fill it with the background color. And then for each column, if the column is hidden, then we don't do anything. Right, but then if the column is to be shown, then we um, get the cell rect for this individual cell. Um, so I guess this is, we should be um, probably be constraining the um, text inside of the cell rect. Um, which it kind of looks like we are doing here. But what is the cell rec really? Um, is the horizontal padding plus the X offset? All right, okay. So the cell rec width is the column width. So it's not too big. So maybe the issue is that draw text just doesn't care about clipping. Let's go have a look. Um, so we're giving it a rect. And then, uh, let's see, what do we do with the text? First, we break it into lines, like that. And then we compute the bounding rect for the text, all the lines together. That's what this is. And then here, we uh, align the bounding rect. And then finally, we iterate through the lines and we draw text, each line by calling draw text line. Uh huh. So, okay, let's have a look here. Um, draw text line. Da, da, da. This is the part where we elide the text um, if requested. So, like, overflow becomes dot dot dot. And um, here we align text inside of the line and then here is where we actually draw the glyphs so the way that we do that is that we just get the, um, the rect here I guess is like where do we actually place this line so we've like centered it if needed and stuff like that and we're actually about to start emitting the glyphs into the pixel backing store here so the way that we do this is that we just get the point, uh, the rect location. So that's like the top left of the, the line's rectangle. And then we iterate through the, the line and um, draw each glyph at the point and then just continue. So there's no clipping here whatsoever. Um, I think maybe the easiest thing would be to just, uh, oh wait, what's this? Um, Painter state saver, is that the one? Uh, 
Mouse Saber, this, and then we could do a clip here. See how that feels. So, um, is it add clip rect? Um, rect, I guess. We'll just clip to that rect. Will that work? Let's try it out. So we would clip every line rect to the, um, every, we clip every line to the line rect. Uh, that didn't go well. So we're clipping way too hard here for some reason. Um, see how it looks in file manager. Okay, well actually here it looks kind of right. Um, it's a little too aggressive actually. But maybe the issue, I don't know what the issue is with that, but um, something here is not working at all. So the um, window titles are not working. This part here is not working. So um, maybe clipping here is not the solution that we want right now. Um, let's see. Let's maybe we're going to be cheap here and make this easy for ourselves. And um, first thing we'll do is we'll say text elision right because um, maybe we can get away with not implementing clipping right this very moment. <laughs> Because I think maybe if we turn on text television here, then we will just um, turn it into dot, 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 and the problem goes away. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, and then when you resize, you can see that, yeah, the dot, dot, dot changes. So that's pretty nifty, isn't it? Um, okay, so I guess that means that I, I can get away here without implementing um, draw text clipping right now, which I'm fine with because I'm a bit tired. Uh, I just uh, I just put together that um, monthly update video, and I thought I would record some programming right after. But um, I'm gonna be happy with this solution for this. So it's a very very simple change. Um, I hope you checked out that monthly uh, update video by the way, the July update. Um, a lot of cool, cool stuff happened in like last month. I'm very happy with it. Um, okay, so let's just say what's the bug number? Three ninety fixes. Three ninety. Yep. Okay. Say G table view. Um, a live column text so it doesn't overflow. Uh, cell right. Um, I don't have to say cell twice. Allied. Um, I mean cell texts. Texts. That's a weird word. Cell text content. Ah, allied cell content, so I just call it cell rect. Yeah, okay. Um, originally, I'm going to admit, I'm going to admit it here. Thought I had to implement um, text clipping in Painter for this, but it seems like I can get away without doing that today. Cool. <laughs> All right. <sighs> it's nice to have a little easy work sometimes. So let's look at that one more time. Uh, we'll try this new feature where you can go to any location by passing it on the command line. How cool is that? Okay, uh, these are not so wide, but it still works. Very, very cool. All right. Oh, actually, we can try with these other ones too. Whoop, whoop. 
Oh, wait, hold on. And these are like a little too um, narrow by default now. Seems like, oh, no, 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 they're good, they're good. Um, but here, they're, they're a little not wide enough. Okay, so let's make this one a little wider. Because um, we don't want it to like dot, dot, dot by default. That doesn't look good. Um, so that would be in G directory model. Mm. I was just tweaking, tweaking this just yesterday. Uh, and that's the permissions field here. We make it 65 pixels. Column metadata. This is like how wide the column is by default. So we'll give it an extra five pixels. I think that would work out. Um, let's see how that looks. Gotta, gotta care about details like this. It's important. And we got a slash dev and everything looks just dandy, doesn't it? Cool, very cool. Okay, let's commit that too. G directory model tweak. Um, fault with uh, permission bits com. Um, now that g table is text content by default, um, this column was a little too wide and ended up getting lighted sometimes. Cool. All right, let's push this stuff and then we can say that I guess I guess that's going to be it for this video. So this will be a very, very short one. But uh, if you made it this far, I will still thank you for, uh, for watching and for coming here and hanging out and for continuing to hang out and uh, for commenting and liking and uh, for subscribing and all those things and for telling your friends about Serenity. Uh, thank you for coming here and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.